The year was 1914. Woodrow Wilson sat in the White House, and the Great War was erupting in Europe. Charlie Chaplin's Little Tramp made his debut appearance on the silver screen. A rookie named Babe Ruth played his first professional baseball game, and Broadway was going gaga over the first musical by Irving Berlin. But in White Plains, New York, something more enduring was being created. A special elementary school that would flourish and grow for a hundred years and counting. As Good Council Academy Elementary marks its centennial celebration in 2014, it celebrates not only a century of existence, but a hundred years of giving, nurturing, educating, and shaping individuals and families, enriching countless lives and strengthening the surrounding communities. The original seed of the school was planted shortly after the Civil War. It began as an effort to help poor children and young women in one New York City neighborhood and ended up benefiting the lives of thousands of men, women, and children in a much larger area and for more than a century. It was 1870 when Monsignor Thomas Preston and Mary Dannett Starr opened their first mission on 2nd Avenue in New York City to help poor and oppressed children and young women. Their compassionate effort to provide training for a useful trade in preparation for adulthood set into motion a string of events that would continue to unfold until the present day. They founded a formal congregation in 1886 known as the Sisters of the Divine Compassion, and Mary Starr became Mother Mary Veronica, its foundress. Their early efforts on the Lower East Side were so successful that they soon searched for a more rural location where they could expand. They envisioned a farm where the members could escape the oppression of city life, learn valuable skills, and get some good fresh air. In 1890, a 12-acre farm was purchased on North Broadway in White Plains for $25,000. The congregation called it Good Counsel and before long it would become their permanent home. The original 21-room mansion on the property, dating to the 1860s, sat prominently along Broadway and was used for multiple purposes. A chapel, sacristy, offices, dormitories, and even as an infirmary, among other things. The surrounding farm had gardens and orchards, which provided supplies and income for the congregation, along with opportunities for learning. The location was expanded through the purchase of adjacent property, including the farm and Victorian mansion next door named Mapleton. This became the convent for many years and is still used today as the counseling center. Some of the land was later used for a high school and a college, which is now home to Pace University, but it all started with the elementary school. By the early 1900s, the sisters felt the need to transition to a more comprehensive educational program, and they envisioned a formal elementary school chartered by the state. The original mansion had been moved to the back of the property in 1895, pulled by horses over log rollers in order to make way for the building of the chapel. In 1914, this mansion became the original Good Council Academy Elementary School, an eight-year private institution. The mansion remains an integral part of GCA, serving as the home for grades kindergarten through three. For most of the school's history, the mansion served as the main classroom building for all grades. A gym was added in 1965, and then in 1995, a major addition was constructed adjacent to the gym. This provided separate classroom and lab facilities for the upper grades. It was called the Star Wing, after the foundress of the order, Mother Mary Veronica, whose original name was Star. It was also at that time, in 1995, that the school became fully co-educational. As Good Council Academy Elementary celebrates and commemorates their century milestone, it's not just about a date, but about a far-ranging history. Since the beginning, the mission has been to develop young minds and hearts to become the best they can be, and to work together as a community, always looking upward. 
The school is a shared experience, embracing diversity and striving to impart an uplifting and affirming spirit of peace. For 100 years, the students and families passing through Good Counsel have been enriched by the school and have gone on to enrich the communities around them, making a positive long-term impact in the world. Good Counsel Academy Elementary looks forward to continuing this beneficial contribution for another century or two.